Mm. So Buddhism is very much sort of a way of life. In fact, this leads me on a bit to my next question I was going to ask, which uh, would you, do you consider Buddhism a religion, a philosophy, or just a way of life? Mm. One has to be very careful about using these terms because none of them are really Buddhist terms. Mm. If you say that Buddhism is a religion, you run the risk that people think you believe in God, mm. that Buddhism believes in God. Because if you look, turn to the dictionary, religion is usually defined in terms of belief in God. You're a religious person if you believe in God. Mm. Okay? So if we say, no, Buddhism is not a, a Buddhism, if we say, yes, Buddhism is a religion, we run the risk of people assuming we believe in God. But supposing we say, well, no, Buddhism is not a religion. But then we run the risk too, because they, they will feel so all the warmer, more emotional and devotional elements, which you usually associate with the term religion, are not to be found in Buddhism. That Buddhism is something cold and intellectual, mm. a mere philosophy. Hmm? So I think if one speaks of Buddhism as a religion, one must make it clear that Buddhism is a non-theistic religion. And I think then one must go on to make the further point that in the world, historically, there are two kinds of religions. There's the theistic, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and there are the non-theistic systems. There's Buddhism, there's Jainism, mm. there's uh, Taoism and Confucianism. These are non-theistic. So, yes, we can say Buddhism is a religion if we make it completely clear that it's not a non-theistic religion. That will safeguard the more emotional and devotional elements. Then as for Buddhism being a philosophy, well, in the literal sense, uh, well, no. Because philosophy means um, a love of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is it that um, Buddhists are not lovers of wisdom? We hope they are. But what about the Buddha? Was the Buddha a lover of wisdom? He was a lover of wisdom, we may say, so long as he was unenlightened. But now that he's enlightened, is he a any longer a lover of wisdom? Does his teaching express his love of wisdom? No. His teaching expresses, or is an expression of, the wisdom that he has achieved, which we try to understand. We, we may be philosophers in the sense mm. of loving the wisdom which the Buddha has, has shown that the Buddha has tried to express to us, which he has tried to communicate. And Buddhist philosophy, if there is such a thing, is, is not, uh, or does not represent the, the efforts of unenlightened people to, to seek wisdom through their own independent intellectual efforts, regardless of the Buddha. Hmm? It, it represents uh, their attempts to understand uh, to fathom, perhaps to correlate, the various apparently conceptual expressions indicative of reality which the Buddha gave in the course of his teaching. Mm. 